The radical U-turn made by Mercedes with their development concept remains one of the boldest decisions the team has engaged in the past few years. The much-celebrated side-podless design of the W13 has been completely scraped off. But the newly designed car has more to offer than just a change of side pods. The car has an all-new floor design, which has been aerodynamically tested to produce more downforce. Whether this downforce will be usable across several speed ranges remains unknown for the moment, as this will be the key factor to increased performance. The new suspension will help it ride closer to the ground, thereby enabling the W14 to efficiently channel the downforce produced. The effects of the newly designed side pods remain the most anticipated, as their design has caused a stir at the paddock already. Much has already been said about how they look like Ferrari or Aston Martin side pods, and not like Red Bull. But from all indications, Mercedes has developed a Red Bull-inspired designed side pod, which seamlessly integrates with their bodywork, and is not a Red Bull-inspired car. The tight corners of Monaco will be a perfect ground for Mercedes to test their new suspension and floor at slow speeds, as it features more slow speed than high-speed corners. With only one DRS zone available, it will be difficult for Mercedes to fully test their straight-line speed. As previously mentioned in my other video, Monaco isn't the best track to bring a major upgrade, but with the cancellation of the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix due to bad weather, Mercedes had no choice as they want to get back to the front as quickly as possible. Nothing more is expected from the Mercedes W14 in Monaco than signs of improvement, which will enable the team to double down on fine-tuning the new development concept.